Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you Libras for the month of May 2021. How are you doing Libra? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Oh, how did you guys experience this uh, full moon in Scorpio? Extremely overwhelming to say the least. Very emotional, a lot of endings. All right, let's get into it, Libra. Let's see what can you expect for this month of May. All right, your first card here is the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles may represent feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit guarded, feeling like you are. Um, for some of you guys, this could be like uh, having the need or the desire to uh, kind of spend some alone time. Um, I'm getting like, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of noise, a lot of people talking. Uh, this could have been the energy that you've been experiencing or have been experiencing in the past, like being around a lot of friends uh, or being extremely social. And there's almost the feeling like feeling a bit burned out. Um, so I do see you guys becoming a little bit more secluded in the month of, okay, I see, in the month of May. For some of you guys, it could be um, feeling feeling like you're extremely guarded um and i feel that for a lot of you guys it has to do with the scorpio moon that we just experienced the scorpio full moon as we do have the death card here so there is definitely some transformation that's happening with you guys for some of you guys this could be in the emotional sector for others of you this could be in regards to finances but there is def definitely some internalizing that's going on with you guys right now there's almost like a feeling of um feeling stuck, feeling like there is a desire to start something new for some of you guys. Um, it could even represent like in the past you've experienced like feeling a bit stuck, feeling a bit restless. This could be what the energies that you have been dealing with the past couple of days. Um, but with the death card, there's definitely some transmutation that's happening. So it's almost like a regeneration of energy where you uh, perhaps were a bit social or being very like outgoing very friendly and then all of a sudden with the full moon's energy there was like a, a feeling of like retracting there was a feeling of isolating maybe uh for some of you guys like i said a feeling of recharging is what's happening right now but uh, on a mental aspect it could be that you're internalizing or viewing your life and taking inventory of what's going on, the people around you, what you're doing, where you're going towards, or the plans that you have for the future. Now, your next card here is the Sun card. Beautiful card, you guys. So, again, I feel that there's definitely transmutation and there is a transformative energy here that you're going to be experiencing in the month of May. Um, I feel that if you are being a bit restless or feeling like a bit, like you can't, you know, sit still with your thoughts. I feel that the reason for it is because they're saying that there is a need for you to take inventory of what's going on in your life right now. Why? Because moving forward, there's a transformation that's happening where the sun is going to be illuminating. It's going to be bringing um, your energy. It, it's almost like you're being recharged. You're being uh, reborn. You know, the full moon in Scorpio does represent the death of an old you or the death of ego and the beginning of something new the the re the rebirth of your soul or spiritual purpose so for some of you guys it could be that you're dealing with that uh the sun card also represents blessings and um unexpected blessings at that now your next card is the two of cups okay so we're starting to see a clear picture here libra all right with the six of swords nine of wands ace of wands this was the card I was seeing. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So what's going on with you Libras is love and romance. And I feel that you're one of the signs uh, from January reading where they said that you were going to be experiencing the most changes for 2021. You amongst other uh, fellow signs uh, but what they're showing me here is with the death card there's an ending cycle of instability in regards to relationships and in regards to love in general now you also do have here the sun with the two of cups there's a relationship that's forming or that will be unfolding in the month of may right at the center we have the nine of wands 
So the death card does represent an ending. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single and have been single for quite a while, you could have connected with someone in the past where you felt the energy was like mutual, like it was reciprocated. You were feeling them. They were feeling you. Then all of a sudden there was like a pullback. There was a need for you to either protect yourself or they felt like they needed to protect themselves. And it's almost like you guys kind of got to a standstill. With the Nine of Wands, somebody was wanting to give up, or it could have been you, Libra, uh, that decided to move on from this situation because it could have been almost the feeling of like either the person wasn't completely honest with you or uh, people around you were highly influencing uh, your ideas, your thoughts, or your perception of this person. And the reason I say that is the Ace of Wands usually indicates a new passion or a new desire, a new beginning. But with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords, it's a, like there was a new beginning that was unfolding. Uh, but then someone in this connection kind of said, wait, hold up. Things don't feel right with the Seven of Swords. People are telling me, uh, you know, that this person uh, is not who they claim to be. Or, you know, people started talking about them. Uh, people having their name in their mouth. It, it, it's almost like... I'm going to be honest with you, Libra. It was a feeling of intimidation. It could have been you or the person you were dealing with um, where they kind of said, okay, this is like, it just seems too complicated or it seems like it could get too messy. So I'm just going to just, you know, allow them to come in or to, you know, chase me or to look for me, but I'm not going to be putting in the effort, although the desire was there with the Ace of Wands. And again, the Two of Cups, there was reciprocation. Um, however, the deciding to pull away only created some type of distancing or uh, completely no communication. We do have the world card here with the nine of pentacles. So the desire to be single or your desire uh, to figure yourself out or to, again, choose to remain single is quickly going to be changing. And for some of you guys, that could be what's in what you're internalizing right now or have been internalizing. Like, where do I want my life to, to go? Where am I going towards? Do I have a destination? Or am I just floating with the wind and seeing what, you know, where I land? It's almost like what Spirit, Spirit is trying to wake you up to awaken and realize with clear indication what it is that you want in your life. So there was some type of denial or there was some type of resistance uh, from relationships, connections, um, and, and it's almost like that connection is being reawakened and it's being re reawakened because for some of you guys, it was destiny that brought you guys together. It wasn't accidental. It wasn't like if you felt there was a connection, they're telling you there was definitely a connection and it was felt on both sides. Um but again, with the world card here and the nine of pentacles, there's an ending cycle that's happening and the death card. So if you've been single for quite a while, that's quickly going to be changing. Um, if there's been fears of commitment or fears of marriage or fears of monogamy, uh, that's quickly going to be dissipating. And you're going in the month of May strong with a clear inclination of where you want the, like the end of this year where you want to end up, where you want to be, what goals and aspirations you're going towards. Now, if this, not, if this is not in connection to relationships, this isn't to life in general. What they're telling you is that in the past, there's been like, like almost of going with the flow type of energy and they're kind of like awakening you, Libra, and waking your spirit up and saying, there is a purpose and there is a reason why you're here. And you need to find that purpose, that inspiration, that desire. You need to believe in yourself. You need to stop starting something and give up halfway through. And then you sit there and complain that you didn't see results. They're telling you, you can't start something and end halfway and expect to see some type of results. You either commit to it or you don't. There is no, there is no position or situation where you could be or can be indecisive either you commit to it or you don't all right libra all right so i'm going to be pulling out some major arcana 
Um, let's see what spirits major arcana is for you for the month of May. Spirit guides, what is the energy that Libra needs to embrace for this month of May 2021? What is the energy that they need to embrace for this month of May 2021? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There is like a feeling of what I'm seeing here is like you've been denying yourself some type of some type of emotional fulfillment that deep down in your heart of hearts has been desiring. But either you've convinced yourself that you don't want it or you've convinced yourself that you're not worthy of it or you've convinced yourself that you don't deserve it, Libra. And what spirit is telling you is you need to stop lying to yourself. You need to stop pretending like you don't want it or you need to stop you doing this self-defense mechanism that you have a tendency of doing where you feel the connection very strong and you run from it because this is a toxic trait. This is an energy of I am gonna, I'm going to hurt, I'm going to hurt them before they hurt me or I'm going to run before they leave me type of thing. And, and there is an ending that needs to happen with this type of behavior, Libra. All right. And your card here is <laughs> the devil card. And this is the energy that you need to embrace in the month of May. So the devil card is a representation of Saturn's energy. This is a representation of Capricorn energy. We go back to that of you cannot start something and expect to see the rewards halfway through it. Uh, Capricorn is a sign that is ruled uh, or that rules the 10th house, which is career finances. Um, and it also represents hard work because of Saturn's energy. So what they're telling you is any manifestation that you're trying to accomplish or that you're trying to make happen, Libra, you literally have it at the grasp at the tip of your fingers but you need to commit to it. You need to get into it wholeheartedly, whether it's relationships, whether it's starting a new business, whether it's the career or path that you're on right now uh, in regards to your finances. not half ass and get rewards from it. Uh, like I said, you know, with the devil card, which is a Capricorn energy, 10th house, success, finances, career, but it also speaks about putting in the hard work. It speaks about, you know, Saturn is a planet that is, it, it doesn't bless unless you put that work, unless you've really, you know, put your nose to the grindstone. And with this card, what they're telling you is you need to embrace the energy of Capricorn or Saturn. Uh, you need to incorporate that energy towards your aspirations and goals not give up it's about putting the effort and like literally staying laser focused because capricorn is a sign of the goat and the goat keeps you know um keeps going up the mountain does not matter how steep it is like they will not give up and that's what they're telling you that you need to embrace now for others of you this could represent that distractions, people around you, the people, your circle or friends or the circle of friends uh, could be very toxic. They could, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, be, you know, surrounding themselves with like uh, drugs, uh, pills, addictions, alcoholism, anything like that. And that's what you need to stay away from in the month of May so that you can be able to start and complete a new endeavor that is going to bring to you your 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 soul's purpose or something that is going to inspire you that is going to bring to you a lot of blessings but you need again like i said you need to not give up libra all right so i'm going to be pulling out a shadow oracle card oh okay give me one second because that just popped out and this is the energy that you need to work on for this month and we have mindset scarcity or abundance so what they're telling you is basically you are the only one that is going to determine the abundance the success or the lack thereof based on your mindset based on your thought patterns based on the way you think the way you act it is about and it is very connected to this devil card you guys because um, a lot of people, you know, fear the devil card in the tarot and the devil card has a very beautiful and powerful 
energy. It is that of mastering everything that has to do with the mundane, meaning career, finances, wealth, anything that has to do with the physical aspect. So again, um, it's your mindset. It is if you start something and you're constantly doubting that you're not going to be able to achieve some type of success or that you're not going to be able to advance or that you're not going to be able to find that person that is going to share your ideals, whatever it is that you're thinking the most, that is what you're bringing towards your life, Libra. That is what you're creating. You are in, in retrospect, you are co-creating based off of your mindset. So again, if there is any anything within you that fears or, or, or feels like there's lack in your life, you need to stop thinking of the lack of and start focusing on the abundance. And you guys, abundance, it is not, it, it's not a, a word that signifies only wealth and prosperity. Abundance is abundance in every single aspect of your life, in health, in prosperity, in love, in, in, in family dynamic, whatever it is. Abundance is true finding joy in every single aspect of your life so again it starts with your mindset it starts with not giving up it starts with if you're going to start something libra commit to it wholeheartedly and you will see the rewards but it's about no matter how hard it gets or how difficult it gets that's when you know you're at the pivotal moment where there's going to be a breakthrough and nine out of ten times uh right when it gets really hard and that's just the universe testing how bad you want it and if if you would have pushed that little bit more you would have seen the full-blown manifestation so again it's about not giving up in the month of may all right my lovelies i hope that this inspires you this was a very inspiring reading i feel so pumped for you guys i wish you guys the very best i hope that you make the best of this month of may you have a lot of energies and astrological alignments that are going to be assisting you make it happen libra i wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon bye